In this film, we're going to drive. We're going to treat the car carefully and drive safely by establishing good habits before we even start the engine. The handbrake is on, we check it, and we turn the handle to save wear on the ratchet. We adjust the seat to be comfortable for one thing, but also to be able to see properly and to be able to work all the controls easily. Steering, brakes, clutch, accelerator, ignition and light switches, wiper and other controls. We can see the road ahead clearly, side vision is good. We check and if necessary adjust the rear vision mirrors. If there should be a collision, no one wants to be thrown from a moving car, so we check that all doors are properly locked. The seat belt needs to give firm support without restricting small movements. It will be safer and more comfortable fastened across the hip. The correct driving position is one which can be maintained for long periods at a time without sliding or rolling when the car is moving. Instruments and controls in other makes of cars may look different and feel different, so before driving an unfamiliar car, we always sort out how the controls work and feel, checking out with the manufacturer's handbook if necessary. We're ready to start the engine, so we first make sure that the gear lever is in neutral and the handbrake is on. Now the car won't move unexpectedly. If the engine is cold, we pull out the choke to make it easier to start. We switch on the ignition. We have a look at the instrument panel. There is enough fuel, oil light is working, ignition light is working. The temperature gauge won't, of course, give a reading until the engine warms up. Right, we start the engine. We hear it and immediately release the starter switch. If the engine then stalls, we wait until it stops completely before trying again. With the engine running, we have another look at the instrument panel. Oil and ignition lights should have gone out, and they have. Temperature gauge begins to rise. And as the engine warms up, we can push the choke in. If anything looks wrong, we switch off immediately. Some people can check the running of the engine by listening to it, but this comes with experience. We'll switch off and run quickly through the drill again. Gear lever in neutral. Handbrake on. If the engine is cold, set the choke. Ignition on. Check that gauges and warning lights read correctly. Start up. It's bad to rev a cold engine, so we let it run at a fast idle to warm up. As soon as the engine is warm, we push the choke in. The ball of the left foot operates the clutch pedal. It is pushed right down to the floor while first gear is engaged. We check to make sure the road behind is clear. We make a signal with the indicators, release the handbrake, and slowly lift the ball of the foot off the clutch pedal. At the same moment, we press the accelerator gradually to provide sufficient engine power to move off. At very low speeds, the clutch can be eased in and out to control speed. But we must emphasize, this method is only used at very low speeds. Smooth acceleration is achieved by placing the right foot on the pedal in the same way as the left is placed on the clutch. Clutch and accelerator have reciprocally opposite movements. As the clutch is released, the accelerator is pressed. As the clutch is pressed, the accelerator is released. This prevents stalling or racing the engine. With the clutch pedal down, no power is transmitted to the rear wheels, so that on a level road, the car will roll to a stop. We move off again, releasing the clutch, hesitating briefly as the car begins to move, then releasing the clutch all the way. Once it is fully disengaged, the foot is removed completely from the pedal. We stop the car again, this time using the foot brake. We make sure that the road behind is clear and give a signal if required. 
At very low speeds in first gear, the clutch can be pressed before the brake pedal is applied. As we shall not move off again immediately, the handbrake is applied, the gear lever is moved to neutral and the feet can be taken off the clutch and brake pedals. We go through the routine again. Clutch, gear, check behind, signal, handbrake. Release clutch and at the same time accelerate gently. Remove foot from clutch completely. And stopping again. Rear vision, signal, clutch and brake. Again, the ball of the foot on the pedal. Several practice sessions may be necessary before a new driver feels thoroughly confident about clutch and accelerator control. Each session should begin with the full routine of checking, as we have seen. An essential part of good driving is the proper coordination of observation and controls. Added to this, we must be prepared to know the traffic regulations and their meaning and put them into practice with consideration for other road users. The first steps are well worth plenty of practice until they can be done properly and almost automatically. Then it will be time to move up on the next exciting stage towards becoming an expert driver of motor cars.